Yo, how are you doing guys? Welcome to another World to Live Online video. This is going to be showing you how to brighten up your game and make it look a lot better. The timestamps in the description below guys. Well, let's get on to some side-by-side -side comparisons. Let's do this. Alright, so there's a side by side, you can clearly see a difference, the game looks so much nicer, it's so much brighter, so much sharper, and it's honestly, it's super simple, um, like, I'm gonna tell you now, if you've got an AMD card, I apologise, it's not gonna work for you, you do need an NVIDIA card, it's really easy to do, so all you're gonna do is open GeForce Experience and go to Game Filters, I've literally never used this until yesterday, I just started using it. I don't know why I never used it. I just never clicked on it. I never realized what it were. So all you're going to do, actually, let me show you here. As you can see, I've actually got split screen on right now. So if you look, you can see it's like more green over here and then more bright over here. It just kind of removes the green tint. I don't know why the game has this green tinty filter on it, but for some reason it does. But yeah, so it's going to see GeForce Experience uh, hood or whatever you want to call it. Go to game filters. I'm going to show you my settings, how to do it, super easy, super simple. Honestly, copy my settings, your game looks so much nicer. Like, instantly, just... So, game filters, obviously you don't want split screen on. I'm using that to show you this, so I'm going to delete that, boom. As you can see, what left side is just cleaned up now. I'm going to how the rest is. You're going to add filter, so you've got three different presets. Preset 2, this is with nothing on at all. Preset 3, nothing on at all, because I don't have these two set up. Preset one, and this is the one that I use. Let me just, uh, there we go. Yeah, so that's normal. Obviously, that looks so much nicer. So yeah, you're gonna go to add filter. You're gonna wanna add color and then sharpen. So add filter. Oh, let me um, remove these real quick. So this is with nothing. You're gonna add the color, boom. That's gonna, you know, make it all the bright, like get all the brightness and stuff. You want tint color, 20%. Tint intensity, 20%. I've got it at 21 for some reason, so I'm moving it about. Temperature, zero. Smack bang in the middle. That's minus 50. That's plus 50. Uh, minus 100. And plus 100. You want this on bang on zero. You can put it up a bit. Put it down a bit. I want. Oh, that doesn't look too bad, actually. Yeah, I'm going to keep it on zero, though. And then vibrance. You want this on 38. And just anywhere around here. So... This is just going to be how much colour your game has. Like, this will make your colours pop a lot more. If you put it down to where I had it before, 38, look, going up, you can see it getting brighter. Go to minus 100, it just goes black and white. The reason I don't have it further up is, like, your health bar and stuff like that. Just some, some things look a little bit weird. They're just too bright. So I just have it around 40%. I had it at 38. I'm just going to leave it at 40, though. I'll leave it at 38. So yeah, tint color 20, tint intensity 20, temperature 0, vibrance 38 to 42. So like somewhere around there. And then going to the next one, so click on add filter again. And then we want sharpen. Sharpen, 100%. If we put this down, you can really see a difference now. If you look at like the truck, we'll get a zoom in on that. That's where 100%. That's with it at zero. It's, it's just basically just shape it, sharpening up your image, just making it look a little bit better. I think I'm going to have this on 70%. 80. So sharpen 100. Ignore film grain, 
And you, yeah, it's just basically... I don't know how to explain it. It's just it's just making the image sharper anyway. Like, trust me, you, you can see... If you get close up to something, turn it off, turn it on, you can see a difference. Honestly, you want it on. I, I, I don't 100% know what it all is. I'm, I'm not that part in games. And this type of crap, it just looks so much nicer. I'm trying to think of a way to explain it. Getting rid of the blurriness. That's the easiest way I can explain it. I sound like a right idiot on this video now. Yeah, it just takes out the blur on the corner of the images of each object. It just sharpens it up, makes it look nicer. But anyway, that's all you have to do. You're not doing anything dodgy. You can't get banned for this or anything like that. You can use it in any, any game that GeForce Experience picks up. This will work. What I mean by that is, let me go to uh, the screen and I'll show you. So here's GeForce Experience, I've got this open. Any game where you can see in the list here, you can do it on. Like I've got more games installed, but only these ones show up in the list. So yeah, that's it, it's as simple as that guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope it helped you. Uh, I'll catch you in the next one, peace out. Make sure to subscribe for future content on Worlds to Live Online. Make sure to give the video a like if you liked it. Drop a comment below what you'd like to see and all that good stuff. Catch you in the next one, guys. Peace.